Hey folks, another NixOS video. This one's a number 48. I'm going to talk about automatically changing your terminal colors when you SSH to a remote machine. Uh, the, the script for this video is available via a link in the video description. It'll take you to the page that looks like this, and you can see all this stuff that's over in this, this gray window over here. Um, this particular little nugget is not really a NixOS thing. Any system running Home Manager, under Linux at least, should be able to make use of this. This is a terribly ugly hack job and it's pretty specific to my configuration but uh it's very reliable and uh for anyone who mentions kitty yes i know about it yes thank you i uh, didn't want to use it the point of this is when i ssh to remote systems i would like my terminal background color to change so that i know that i'm interacting with a system that is not my local one which i think is a pretty common desire of system administrators and programmers and whatnot, because you don't want to accidentally RMRF your customer's data. That would be bad. This also isn't really a Nix thing. I mean, any, any, of course, any system can make use of this as well. But what's nice about this is that if you configure this once under Home Manager, you'll never have to think about it again. <laughs> never, ever. So um, when I say I want to change the background color, of my terminal, what I actually mean is I want to change the profile of my GNOME terminal. I, I use GNOME terminal, although, although I, I use KDE for everything else. GNOME terminal is just better terminal than console. So this this particular hack uh, is specific to GNOME terminal. It's also specific to X. It probably won't work on a Wayland. And I also mentioned some specific ZSH configuration here. So you'll have to adapt this if you don't use any of these things, but. Hopefully you'll get the gist of what's happening and you can sort of adapt it to your, your configuration. It, it should be possible for any, any terminal, any shell, and under Wayland. In order for this to work repeatedly, what I needed to do was I needed to set up GNOME terminal profiles. Um, and uh, here's my GNOME terminal. And what I mean by that, I said profiles, is these things. So I've set these up uh, so that I have a gray one, I have a blue one, and I have a black one, like that. And what I'd like to be able to do, well, first first of all, in order to not make this a chore uh, on my other systems, I set up a home manager to manage these profiles for me. And inside of my home manager configuration, I have something that looks like this, where I say programs can home terminal enable blah, 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 blah. And then I have these various profiles. Now, note that these IDs need to be UUIDs. They can't be just names for whatever reason, at least on a GNOME terminal, or they, they just won't show up after you activate the Home Manager configuration with the stuff in there, just FYI. Um, and I've set up three profiles. One is the default, which is my gray one. And then I have two other ones, one for blue and one for black. And I actually have... Uh, in my actual configuration, I have many other options to to GNOME terminal profiles in there. Uh, you can see the actual my actual configuration. If you go to the video description, click on the link, and then click on this there, you'll find it. Um, note that I've prefixed each one of these things with a number, uh, each one of these profile visible names with a number. And that's so they don't move around when you add or remove one, uh, which is important for, for a step that we haven't done yet, but uh, that's that's necessary for this hack to work. We, we, we obviously can't uh, physically move the mouse and, and select one of these when we SSH in. We, that would, I mean, we can, but that would, that would that's just too much work. We don't want to do that when we SSH in. Uh, so enter the xdo tool, and that allows us to send, like, emulate sending keystrokes other X input signals. And so what this little thing here does, X do tool key shift F10 R2, is it copy. It sends shift F10, which is the equivalent of, of, of sort of right click in the terminal. Um, under GNOME terminal, this will, the, this will be totally different under some, some other terminal. Then it emulates typing the R key, which actually activates the profiles menu. So it's this that and then it emulates typing a number after that so it emulates sort of going there and doing that 
So if I send uh, the command xdutool key shift plus at 10 r2 to this terminal, well, I'll do, I'm already on two, so I'll send it one, which should switch me back to gray. And it does. If I switch, send it to three, it switches it to black. So I'd like to automate that such that when I type SSH, you know, some host name, it does that beforehand. And then once I disconnect from that host, I'd like it to switch back to the default. So um, in order to do that, I've come up with a little SSH uh, wrapper that I'm calling SSH dash change color to color or whatever here. And we can see it kind of better over here, actually. And this will write a shell script to our next door that has these, these contents in it. And all it does is it is a drop-in replacement for SSH that, first of all, changes the color to blue uh, using this function here. And then SSH to the machine, as soon as we disconnect, it changes the color back to gray. And in order for that to replace my normal SSH command, um, in my SSH configuration, I have something like this. And this is all in my home manager stuff. Uh, I have a shell alias that I call SSH and it calls SSH color slash bin slash SSH to color. Uh, and that will call this script whenever I type SSH. So the upshot of all this is that once I, uh, I'm just going to set my profile back to default here real quick. Um, if I type SSH to a local computer that I have here, lock 802, it changes my background color to blue. And once I exit, it changes it back to gray. Bob is my uncle. That's all. Hope, hope this helped somebody. Thanks, thanks for watching.